everybody, Siki here. And you guys, I totally forgot to say hi within this video. So, what's up, good people? I gave you a twofer. Okay, so let's get into this Valentine's Day look because I told you guys on Snapchat that I was bringing it to you. So first, I was discolor. I was, oh my gosh, I was taking care of the discoloration on my lid and I used Sephora's concealer. I set that with Black Radiance Powder and now I am putting a base on so that my eyeshadow can pop. And this is LA Girls Primer in the shade Nude and I am adding a color to my transition. And can you guess what it is? Yes, it is Cocoa Beer. You guessed it. Okay, so that's by Makeup Geek for those of you guys that do not know. So I'm simply putting that in the crease and I promise you guys this is going to be the easiest makeup look ever. So I'm using an eyeshadow by ColourPop. This is the shade Note to Self and I have found a new eyeshadow that I love, just saying. And how cute is that? The name is really cute. So anyway, I'm placing that all over my lid and then I'm going into Makeup Geek's Americano with a Makeup Geek Defined Brush, okay? Or Detail Brush, I think it's called. And I'm literally placing that in my outer V and going a little bit into my lash line. But I promise, super simple. You don't have to stress yourself out with this look. Like, you can just get her done, okay? So that's all I'm doing. And I'm taking another brush with a little bit of Cocoa Bear on it and I am blending that out. Now you guys, when you do your eyeshadow look, please let me, well, let me just give you this disclaimer. When I do these looks, I totally blend more off camera, okay? I just don't wanna waste your time. So just blend at your own discretion, all right? So I am blending out my crease again with some Cocoa Bear, and we are about to go into this brow bone, hunty. Oh yeah, I'm blending a little bit in that outer V as well, just so it goes kinda like a gradient where it has like a smooth transition. Y'all know how we get down. So you guys, if you follow me on Snapchat and everywhere else, even YouTube, you guys know that ColourPop has come out with some eyeshadows, and this one is a fave now. It is called, what is it called? It's called Running Late. And I've been using that as a brow bone highlight ever since I got it. So it's the bomb.com. But I wanted to give y'all a sneak peek of how I put on my wing liner and my lashes. And this is why I don't really <laughs> leave it in the video because I get out of focus. But I wanted to show y'all so y'all would know why I don't do it all the time. I will have to do a dedicated video for that. All right. So I'm using a Makeup Geek liner. This is in the shade Plumeria. And I'm placing that in my lash line and I'm going in my waterline with a black eyeliner. Now that eyeliner is from LA Girl and those babies do not move, okay? And now I'm going into another Makeup Geek eyeshadow and this is in the shade Curtain Call. And this is, I can't remember what it's called. I think it's a foiled shadow, bomb.com. And then I'm using another Makeup Geek eyeshadow and it is in the shade Bitten. And I just used that to smoke out my lash line a little bit where I did not place that curtain call. Now y'all, you about to get busy. So I had to move it out the way. Now I can put on my primer, but then I was like, wait, hold up. Uh-uh, we gotta do work, son. This is a hindrance to my ministry. So I totally took the little scarf situation off, all right? So I'm placing some corrector on, and now it's time for foundation. And I just wanna let you know, correct wherever you need to, but I am using the foundation by Too Faced, and it is Born This Way Foundation, and it is in the shade Chestnut, I believe. And I am placing that on. You guys know, I like to put it on my face, like directly on my face to make sure that I'm getting the most out of my product. You feel me? Okay, so now, do y'all see? I totally look like Beetlejuice. There's a method to my madness. There's this new technique that I started doing as far as my under eyes are concerned so that I can avoid creasing at all costs. And I will link that video in this video so you guys can check that out because I don't wanna waste your time. So we're just gonna move on and talk about the products that we're using, okay? So we are using Tarte Shape Tape and this is in the shade Deep, but I'm gonna get a lighter color because I want, I don't wanna have to mix two shades, right? So I'm gonna get a lighter color because right now I'm adding the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer in the shade Tan to make it the highlight color that I want. So now, like what was going on with my blender? So now we're gonna go on with my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I'm setting that. And you guys, when you set your highlight and you proceed to put on your face powder, make sure that you guys blend around those lines so you don't have any harsh lines, okay? So now I am highlighting, not highlighting, I'm contouring with the NYX Wonder Stick. And I also have a video on how and why I highlight and contour the way I do, all right? So this is the BH Cosmetics Powder. Y'all know how we get down with BH. And now, like voiceovers, I'm telling y'all they move so quick. See what I'm saying? So I use Becca Dark Golden Powder to contour. And now I'm using Makeup Geek's 
chivalry blush because I love it, especially during the fall and winter time. And this is also a Makeup Geek product. And you guys, when I first did the swatches, I totally thought this color was going to be way too bright for my skin tone, but Electrify is banging on me. That's the shade. Love it. And I was just singing a little key sweat. I said, make it last forever because that's what that spray makes me think of every time I use it. Okay, and so now Ofra has a new shade, a new lipstick shade, and the shade is Milan, and I totally had to use it for this video. So this is it, you guys. This is the look. I hope you guys like it. And let me give you a little bit of, you know, a little bit of slow-mo here. And I love you guys. I heart you guys. But wait, just when you thought it was over, here is an outfit inspiration or outfit inspiration, I should say. And this is perfect for V-Day if you guys celebrate V-Day, okay? If you're going out. And I have a video on this as well because I did a try on from Fashion Nova. It's like vlog style and everything. And I tried on like 10 pieces. So I'm really excited about it because it's my first time ever doing a try on. So check that video out, you guys. And guess what? I will see you in the next video. Y'all have an awesome, blessed day. And I love ya. this is key. You know what I mean? Uh -huh. A woman feels good when she's looking pretty. Yeah. I don't need no Benz, Lexus, or a Range Rover. Just give your girl a bomb, see key beauty makeover. Hey. Confidence is key, ladies. You know what I mean? Or maybe her eyeshadow and mascara will help you see. Yeah. Check out her foundation and the blush on her cheek. Yeah, we, we ain't playing, playing games. games. It's the Seeky Beauty. Yeah, Seeky Beauty. Beauty.